Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. In today's video, I'll be talking about embedded Linux branding. Say, for example, uh, if you have this nice uh, PNG image, and uh, what if you want this PNG image to show up when you boot your embedded Linux on the Raspberry Pi? So, as usual, all my videos are specifically uh, uh, related to Raspberry Pi. So, yeah, so make sure to uh, to watch other videos before actually watching this one uh, as this one will uh, make more sense so yes yeah, so for example if you want to make this uh, nice image this coffee place logo to appear when you boot your raspberry pi what are the steps which are needed what are the technical steps which you which you would want to do as a developer so that uh, this nice image actually shows up on the screen when you first uh, when you start your embedded linux so uh, something like this let me show the screen the screenshot uh, of what I'm talking about so this is the screenshot so when my pie actually boots up this is what it shows on the screen you see the logo here as well as you also see the progress bar here as well so in this video I'll be talking about how to show this uh, this PNG image here so let's me quickly show you what is actually involved in doing that. So I'll close this screenshot image, uh, go back to my folders here. So right, so the first thing which we need to do is if uh, this PNG image has to be converted into a header format, as uh, that is what is uh, understood by the, uh, the P slash binary really. So I'll explain in a moment what I'm talking about. So what you need to first do is, we will fetch a package uh, using git clone this is what we need uh, the link is in the description so if you want to use uh, you want to actually download a package a binary called as p splash so which i'll download using the git clone command so here it is so I have downloaded that now and inside that is a script called as make image header so if you just open that just a quickly thing you don't have to all it does is it calls this binary gdk pixbuff c source which takes a png image and converts that into the header format uh, which is understood by yepto so let's go back to our terminal screen and if we say p slash make image header and the name of our png file in which in my case is coffee logo dot png so so this is uh, the header format which it has given me i'll just open this so what it has done is it has taken the png file and converted that into a pure text file consisting of bytes inside that png so here you can see it has determined that the width of the image is 800 the height is 480 and this is the actual data which is the actual image data which is inside the png file so once you have the file in this format all you just need to do is now just uh, use this file and we will uh, we'll provide it to yocto so where do you need to provide this file so let's see so i'll go to where my yocto is installed and I have it in the OPT folder, Yocto, OK. And there is a folder, there will be a folder called as Meta Raspberry Pi. If you go inside that folder, and if you go to recipe score, so here you see something called as P splash. So go into the P splash folder, go into the files folder. So this is the file, P splash raspberry pi emg.h. If you open that, so this is exactly where you want to replace the file which you have just generated into this folder. So the original file uh, which was there will show you the rest, the big Raspberry Pi logo when your Pi actually first uh, uh, first starts up. So this is the data for the for that big Raspberry Pi logo which I have replaced it with my coffee coffee place logo. So this is a coffee place logos file. But uh, make sure that to change the hash defines. So the hash defines starts with pokey image 
underscore so th uh, this is what you need by default when you generate the file the mg file it just uh, gives a prefix of img underscore bytes but what you need for our uh, yocto format is you it needs to be replaced with pokey underscore img i hope i am making it clear uh, we can be spending the entire day uh, talking about how to change the logo. It is actually that complicated, but to keep things simpler, all you just need to do is uh, just uh, generate the header data from the PNG file, copy your file in this folder, and you will be good to go. But uh, say, what if you, now let's go back to the original screen again. So this will, so this is way when you actually uh, do a bit pick, you will get an image with this feature but what if you want to change the color of the progress bar here what if you want to change the style of the progress bar or you want to show some additional text or something like that just uh, basically customize the customize the logo well that is more more and more complicated so the now going back again to what we had the package uh, the binary which we had downloaded the source code for the binary in fact p splash this is what actually shows you that logo so just quickly i will not spend more time on this but just in case if you are actually interested to change the colors of your progress bar so there is a header called as uh, p splash colors dot h if you just go into that file so it defines what are the colors to be used for the progress bar indicator what is the background color what is the text color and what is the overall background color this is where you can uh, change the change the color values so basically the colors are actually hard coded into the c source code and if you want to change those colors you will have to uh, download the source code change the color values build that binary and make sure that it is copied on to the micro sd card uh, when you actually boot up your pi and that will then show the new uh, the new logo or the new progress bar indicator but if you just want to change the image as we were as i have done you don't need to make changes to the this source code at all all you just need to do is just uh, just convert that into the header format and replace the default raspberry pi header with uh, with this one i hope it makes sense really so what i'll do is now i'll show you how how actually it looks like when you first uh, uh, when you first boot the pi uh, how does the screen actually looks like hope you like this short video really i have to keep it shorter and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.